Alabama Governor Kay Ivey and other state leaders held an event in Mobile today to celebrate federal funding approved for a new bridge over Mobile Bay. But standing next to the governor, several elected officials who at one time openly opposed the grant. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy shares their explanation of how they can oppose something one day, then celebrate it the next. A $550 million federal grant for the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project is the reason behind this gathering in Mobile Monday. Leading the celebration, Governor Kay Ivey, who pronounced the project dead in 2019 when locals wouldn't support her proposed $6 toll. And let me say that it simply would not be possible without this significant federal backing. That's because the estimated price has gone up more than 50% since Ivy's proclamation five years ago. Now more than $3 billion. The funds come from the Federal Bridge Investment Program, a byproduct of a 2021 infrastructure bill, which Mobile Congressman Jerry Carl did not support. I voted against it then, I would vote against it today. I, I don't regret my vote. Senator Katie Britt wasn't in office yet in 2021, but also opposed the infrastructure bill. Unfortunately, I am of the belief that packages should be strictly um, like this should be just about infrastructure and should be about investing in that. Yet at Monday's news conference, Governor Ivey was quick to call out both Republican colleagues. Senator Brent, Congressman Carl were both instrumental in championing this project. Carl will not be returning to Congress next year after losing in the primary, but he says he's worried about the debt big grants like this put the country in. We could have borrowed that money a little at a time or maybe done it on a cash basis, but to do it in one big grouping like we did it, we'll all agree that our infrastructures in this infrastructure system in this country are decaying. Groundbreaking on the new bridge is expected in late 2025. Reporting in Mobile, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.